What if a single dam could transform the destiny of millions, but also submerge villages, cultures, and entire ecosystems? India's Polavaram project is not just another mega dam. It's a ticking clock of ambition, water politics, and survival. Stay with us, because only if you subscribe, you'll find out what lies beneath the surface and why this dam might be India's most powerful and most controversial project ever. What is the Polavaram project? Vision and scale. The Polavaram project is not just India's next big dam, it's an engineering behemoth on a mission to transform an entire state. Located on the Godavari River in Andhra Pradesh, the project is a multi-purpose national initiative designed to provide irrigation, drinking water, hydroelectric power, and interbasin water transfer. At its core is an earth-come rock-filled dam measuring over 2,450 meters long, with a spillway structure featuring 48 radial gates stretching more than a kilometer. Once completed, it will be one of India's largest dams, by both volume and impact. But this project goes beyond just storing water. It's designed to irrigate over 2.3 million acres of farmland, stabilizing agriculture across drought-prone districts. It will also provide 960 megawatts of hydroelectric power, enough to power over 2 million homes. And by connecting the Godavari and Krishna river basins, it aims to redistribute water across southern India, an ambitious move in a country where water access is often a political flashpoint. What makes Polavaram truly unique is its scale and integration. It's part of a larger national river linking vision to optimize water usage across regions. The design incorporates advanced spillway systems, diaphragm walls, and multiple cofferdams to control flow during construction. It's one of the rare projects declared as a national project by India's central government, which means it's directly funded and managed by New Delhi. But it's also a race against time. Initiated in 2004, the project has faced decades of delays, legal battles, and environmental hurdles. As of 2025, construction is over 80% complete. But finishing the remaining critical components like the lower coffer dam and power generation units remains a national priority. Whether seen as a lifeline or a liability, the Polavaram project is the kind of infrastructure endeavor that defines modern India. Ambitious, controversial, and undeniably powerful. Polavaram's Promises – Irrigation, Power, and Politics The Polavaram project is more than a dam. It's a symbol of how infrastructure can shift the fate of entire regions. At the heart of its promise lies irrigation. Once operational, Polavaram will irrigate over 2.3 million acres of farmland, bringing life to the drought-prone areas of East and West Godavari, Krishna, and Visakhapatnam districts. For thousands of farmers, this means more than just water. It means security. It means consistent crop yields. It means economic stability in a region long plagued by erratic rainfall and depleting groundwater. Next comes power. Polavaram's hydroelectric station is designed to produce 960 megawatts of clean, renewable energy, enough to power over 2 million Indian households. This would not only reduce dependence on coal-fired plants, but also push India closer to its green energy goals under global climate agreements. But here's where the project turns political. One of its biggest ambitions is the Godavari Krishna River linkage, a plan to channel excess water from the Godavari to water scarce regions through a complex system of canals and lift irrigation. On paper, it's brilliant. In practice, it means changing centuries old water flows, renegotiating interstate water rights, and facing legal pushback from neighboring states like Telangana, Odisha, and Chhattisgarh. And there's more. Polavaram also serves as a flood control buffer for lower basins and a drinking water supply source for over 500 villages. Combined with its role in inland water navigation and agriculture, it's being touted as a lifeline project, not just for Andhra Pradesh, but for India's entire southeastern corridor. Yet for all its benefits, the pressure is immense. Delays have been politically costly. Budgets have ballooned to over 55,000 crore rupees, approximately $6.5 billion. Deadlines have slipped repeatedly. But the stakes are too high to fail. Millions are counting on its success. Because when it comes to water in India, it's never just about water. It's about power, survival, and the future. 
Controversy and Cost The Hidden Toll of Pulavaram While Pulavaram promises prosperity, it comes at a heavy price. Let's start with the human cost. The reservoir's backwaters will submerge more than 300 villages across Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, and Chhattisgarh. Over 370,000 people, mostly from tribal communities, face displacement. Many of them have lived on these lands for generations, with deep-rooted cultural and spiritual ties. Rehabilitation has been slow, inadequate, and plagued by red tape. Promises of new housing, compensation, and employment remain partially fulfilled or entirely unmet in many areas. This isn't just a development story, it's a humanitarian crisis. Then there's the environmental toll. Forests, wildlife habitats, and entire ecosystems will vanish underwater. More than 8,000 hectares of forest land will be submerged, disrupting the delicate biodiversity of the Eastern Ghats. Endangered species, including tigers and elephants, may be driven out of their corridors permanently. Critics argue that the environmental impact assessments were rushed or incomplete, and that alternate, less destructive projects were never seriously considered. But what about the financial burden? When first proposed, Polavaram was estimated to cost 10,000 crore rupees, $1.2 billion. Now, estimates exceed 55,000 crore rupees, $6.5 billion, and still rising. Escalating land acquisition costs, legal delays, material inflation, and constant revisions have turned this into one of the costliest dam projects in Indian history. And there's still no clear end in sight. Multiple deadlines from 2014 to 2020 to 2024 have passed. The latest projections now eye late 2025, but experts remain skeptical. There's also interstate politics. Neighboring states like Odisha and Telangana have challenged the project's legality and demanded fresh clearances, alleging violations of environmental laws and flood risks downstream. Even the Supreme Court has been involved multiple times. Polevaram is a dream and a dilemma a national project with local consequences, a symbol of progress and of displacement. It represents the classic paradox of mega-projects. When the price of development is measured in homes, habitats, and heritage, who really pays? Interstate link and future vision. The next chapter of Polavaram. Polavaram isn't the end. It's just the beginning. The project is designed not just to store water, but to move it. And that next step is already in motion the Polavaram Banakacherla Link Project, PBLP. With a proposed cost of over 81,900 crore rupees, a $10 billion, this extension aims to divert surplus Godavari river water from Polavaram into the Banakacherla Cross Regulator in the drought-prone Rayalaseema region of Andhra Pradesh. How? Through a complex system of lift irrigation canals, balancing reservoirs, and pumping stations. Spanning hundreds of kilometers, this isn't just an engineering dream, it's a climate resilience strategy. By moving water from surplus basins to water-starved zones, the PBLP could revolutionize agriculture, reduce groundwater depletion, and provide life-saving access to drinking water for millions in parched areas. But it's not just for Andhra Pradesh. The Polavaram Banakacherla link is part of a far more ambitious vision, India's national water grid a countrywide river linking program that aims to interconnect major rivers and create a balanced hydrological system across the subcontinent. Supporters say it's the only way India can handle its erratic monsoons, growing population, and increasing water conflicts. Critics warn of massive ecological disruption, interstate disputes, and unsustainable energy use for lift systems. Still, the scale is staggering. If completed, the PBLP alone could transfer up to 50 trillion cubic feet of water annually, transforming the economic fate of entire regions. Will it work? That depends on engineering and politics. Interstate cooperation is essential, and past disputes show how fragile that can be. Funding is another hurdle. 81,900 crore rupees is a staggering sum, even for a national priority. But one thing is certain. Polavaram is no longer just a dam. It's becoming a water highway, a network, a lifeline stretching from river to region, from blueprint to reality. Dam of destiny or disaster? Polavaram stands as a colossal monument to India's ambition, 
a project designed to bring light, water, and hope, but shadowed by delays, displacement, and debate. It's a future-defining megastructure, yet its true cost is still unfolding. Is it the lifeline Andhra Pradesh was waiting for? Or a cautionary tale of unchecked development? One thing is certain. When the waters rise, so do the questions. Subscribe now, because in our next episode we explore another river that might change India's map forever. The future flows from here. The Polavaram Dam is just the start. With the Banakacherla link and India's national river grid in sight, we're witnessing one of the largest water re-engineering efforts on Earth. But will it unite the nation? Or divide it? If you want to know how this water highway could reshape India's future, hit subscribe, because in our next video, we're diving deep into India's most ambitious river-linking blueprint yet. Only subscribers see how the story ends.